I know uh, quite a number of people uh, of our country uh, in period of uh, peace, they don't uh, really understand what we are engaged in. And therefore, from time to time, we welcome the opportunity to speak to them. Utilizing uh, uh, this exercise, exercise young eagle, also as part of uh, our preparations uh, for, for exercise uh, Amani. Because exercise Amani actually is an AU exercise uh, that partly serves to also check uh, the progress that is being made uh, towards uh, the operationalization of uh, the Africa Standby Force. Coming to the question of uh, the difficulties that we, we face uh, in, in recruiting young, young, white youngsters into the uh, SANDF, uh, I, I think perhaps our approach uh, was that we, 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 our approach was to just recruit without targeting uh, a certain group that we felt uh, uh, are, are not coming in sufficient numbers. So, so, so to correct that, uh, we've uh, decided that we'll be embarking on targeted uh, recruiting to ensure that we, we can be able to recruit uh, the young whites. Because it is uh, important and imperative that uh, the SANDF is fully representative of the people of South Africa, uh, so that it can uh, have that cred credibility and, and, and all the people of South Africa can actually, uh, uh, actually support it because uh, it is important uh, uh, for all of us to realize that uh, the SANDF is a national asset that needs uh, to be supported by all South Africans. So if uh, there's a group that feels uh, they're not uh, properly represented and therefore they, 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 they may feel uh, alienated uh, from the institution, whereas in our recruitment we don't discriminate against any uh, race.